Mr. Beast has become one of the most famous YouTubers in the past couple years. But recently, everything might go to waste. Recently, there's been a lot of allegations with Chris Tyson and Jimmy. And those allegations were proven to be true in multiple, multiple videos, which I will show in this video. And I will give credits to each of those videos. I will put those in the description, and you should check those out. They're really informative. But those allegations are basically Chris Tyson was inappropriately messaging minors, and Jimmy knew, and he didn't do anything about it. So here we are going to watch a bit of this video by More Pegasus exposed in a viral video and it is getting bad. So last time we talked about the Chris Tyson situation where Mr. Beast's childhood friend Chris was exposed for talking to minors in very weird ways and being a PDF file. But it turns out Jimmy also has plenty of skeletons in his closet. A recent video by Dogpack404 has gone viral titled, I worked for Mr. Beast and he's a fraud with some serious allegations made towards Mr. Beast. Some of them include faking his videos, promoting gambling to children, conducting illegal lotteries, rigging games and videos which involve millions of dollars in prize money, which is also a crime, not giving out the prizes that he promises, false advertising, exploitation, and, and a whole lot of stuff, right? And the thing is, this video did not even show up in the YouTube search bar for several days despite having 200k views, which is seriously suspicious and very much looks like a shadow ban. So let's get into this video, break this down, starting with the allegation that Mr. Beast is faking videos. Also, so already to start off, these allegations are like real big. Like once you hear them the first time, you are like seriously skeptical on if any of this is true. And honestly, if I'm going to be honest, I was, I, I was too. Like, I, w I watched Mr. Beast when, like, Jake the Viking was still there. And, like, those, those, those were amazing, uh, great videos. But now, now, now they're, they feel really scripted. I think it's time. Ever I'm not going to show the whole, the whole clip, but. This one second left, really? That is so. That is garbage. My, my, he, he is literally stalling time doing this. You do not need to look at the clock each time you make a step. So already a lot of his newer videos feel fake. And they probably are. I mean, like, let's, let's get back into the video from more Pegasus. If, if what we had to film was scripted, you know, because what we do is not scripted, so you have to plan for a bunch of variables that you can't control, blah, blah. If what we did was scripted, holy <laughs> shit, this stuff would be easy to pump out. Have you ever faked a video? No. But this train track is CGI, these bus wheels are CGI, this explosion is fake, this shredder is CGI, this car is digitally lifted, this pit is fake, this guy is fake, uh, this raccoon is a paid actor, sure, this island costs more than a dollar, this city is not abandoned, these buildings are CGI, but it's not your only way out. You can literally get an Uber to the airport for $20. That's not a lurker. It's just a guy. This whole room is fake. This contestant is an actor and a secret employee at Mr. Beast. They haven't got through this fake door twice. This line is scripted. This action is scripted. Uh, in fact, pretty much all the videos with Mac are scripted. You did it! Yeah! What we did was scripted. Holy <laughs> shit! This stuff would be easy to pump out. Okay, so that was a really quick montage. Yeah, so like... This, this like, this shows a lot of those fake, fake, fake parts of the videos I was just talking about, uh, especially this one of how it feels like there's no shot, uh, one second left. When he jumped, it, I'm pretty sure when he jumped, it was one second left. And when he landed, it was zero, but they didn't do that. It was still one second. There's just stuff that Mr. Beast is fake. And I think it's pretty obvious to most adults watching that Mr. Beast is faking his videos and he clearly lies about it. 
because every video has those incredibly high stakes all up into the end. And obviously, Mr. B spends millions of dollars on his videos, so he's not going to pick somebody who like quits in two minutes, or he's not going to make the challenge end in two minutes. He's purposely going to manipulate the events, manipulate the contestants, so that they're not going to quit halfway, and it's going to be neck and neck all the way up till the end for that retention. Now, the most damning uh, allegation here has to be this guy called Mac, right? So Mac was made out to be this random person that is trying so hard to win these challenges and everyone is emotionally invested in his success. Well, it turns out in reality, he's just a Mr. Beast employee living in a mansion and he purposely stalls out the videos to make it intense. Let's talk about Mac for a second. We will die. Do you understand that? <laughs> I found public records showing that Mac moved from California to Greenville, North Carolina, where Jimmy is located, back in August 2023, two months before he appeared as a contestant. According to a former Mr. Beast employee, this is around the time when Mac started working full-time on the editing team at Mr. Beast. Also, he didn't just move into any old house, he moved into a million-dollar mansion. His 6,000-square-foot million-dollar mansion comes with a movie theater and seven bathrooms. What are you going to spend the $800,000 on? I mean, my life's changed now. Yeah, I'm sure that $800,000 is really going to change your life. Mac is a nice car. Tell me, where are we right now? Uh, we're in the place that uh, we drove to a few minutes ago. Uh, Mac, let's... Let's cut the shit here. What have you been doing for like the last year? A lot of family stuff. What kind of family stuff? Just like, uh, you know, playing catch with my dad, you know. For a year? What do you, how do you make money? <laughs> Okay, so this is pretty much confirmed that Mac is an employee, meaning if he wins or loses a challenge is pre-planned out by Mr. Beast. And Mr. Beast is artificially introducing these stakes in the video, and you might be saying, oh well, he's doing it for entertainment to entertain the viewer. Who actually cares? Well, then you shouldn't be saying that your videos aren't fake because you're lying to your audience. And this leads to several other ethical issues, because when you introduce contestants that you aren't paying, right? and you get together sort of random people or YouTubers who are not part of your bullshit pre-decided scheme, then they are actually getting tricked because they're going into these challenges thinking they can actually win a million dollars, but they can't because you're controlling everything behind the scenes and the odds are not fair and are heavily stacked in the favor of one of your friends or one of your employees and shit like that. And yeah, that's obviously messed up. Now, Dogpack goes on to show Mr. Beast even fakes his own challenges, like, you know, being stranded at sea. Okay, real quick. These are like really, really good points. Like... When Mac first, like, showed up in a challenge, like, sure, it was just some random guy. Or so I thought. But then he kept going up. And I thought it was really weird how he kept getting so many chances. Like, even, like, even if he was a random guy, he would have gotten maybe, like, two chances max. Like, he got, like, five, five chances to just keep winning money. And the, I thought that was, like, super suspicious. Because, like... No other random guy has gone, apart from, like, Mr. B's gaming with, like, Boy Jedi or something. Apart from that stuff, no random guy has gone this many chances. A lot of these are really good points on how the chances are, are like, going against the actual random people trying out for a million dollars. And it's just, and it's just the, and it's just his employees who have the, the bigger, the higher chance to win. And even if the con actual contestants win, they probably wouldn't get much money. During this time lapse on the fourth day of seven days stranded at sea, you can clearly see there's no one in the shelter. These are their empty beds. But after a hard cut, magically five people are awake and two of the boys have bright yellow raincoats that they didn't have when it rained on day two. And after standing the whole night completely soaked, you didn't spend the night soaked, Jimmy. You slept on the production yacht. It's ironic because this is one of the videos where they claim that they don't fake things. But no, we have to be the real channel that doesn't fake things. Uh, in this video, this wink was added in post. In fact, 58 was actually on the far opposite side of the room from 42 and he just didn't hear him. This whole revenge storyline was added in post. Multiple shots show how timers are edited in post. Timers are edited in post. Timers are edited in post. They also manipulated contestants audio in post. So we got 50 minutes. In general, if anything happens last second, it's fake. Or if you can hear someone's voice but can't see their mouth, the audio could easily be added in post. I literally think I'm gonna kill- Okay, so this is pretty good evidence that he's found. And honestly, I'm okay with the CGI and stuff. I understand you need that for visuals, but making people say things that they didn't say that is just completely fake. 
yeah like sure go go for like the explosions like make it make it put, put it where it makes sense put the cgi explosion put put the cgi put the cgi lights put all that but do not make people say things that they are not saying like that 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 is just like i'm not sure if it's illegal or something but that is just wrong and stuff but don't say it's real then and faking your own challenges is obviously just pathetic because you know when mr beast would uh, supposedly spend 24 hours or 72 hours buried underground or whatever i had a little hope in my heart that okay at least those are real right and mr beast was so insistent that they were all real but i remember in the back of my head i was like oh mr beast is such a busy person such a ceo hyper optimizing everything and he's gonna spend three days buried underground or some stupid shit so obviously i was right there and these challenges aren't real he's probably just you know filming that part instantly getting out chilling outside or whatever but i'm surprised that everybody has gone on, on with it like all these friends and all these employees not one person had a peep out of them maybe he's making them sign ndas or whatever but i'm surprised it actually took this long and i knew he'd be exposed by somebody close to him like a former employee but um yeah man this is the downfall of Mr. B starting right now. I mean, it's not like he's ever rigged the results of a challenge. That would be impossible because he films with hundreds of random subscribers, right? Wrong. Let's look at this video. Not only were the results of this video completely scripted, but the contestants are not random subscribers. So many people had jobs. Oh, that contestant had to get out for her job? I guess you forgot she's your hiring manager. I actually recognize a lot of people in this video, including Jimmy's own girlfriend. So yeah, the random subscribers you see in challenges are actually never random. Okay, so that right there is actually super. I did not know that. Um, I, I guess I just wasn't listening when I watched this before, but like, I, I genuinely did not know. I did not know about that part. Uh, here, let, let's go back to it. Random subscribers. So many people had jobs. Oh, that contestant had to get out for her job. I guess you forgot she's your hire. That's actually insane. Cause it's the same person. Mr. Beast, guys. I don't. I don't know. I. I don't know what to think about him anymore. Like, sure, his videos might be entertaining. But then, then you have to think about the actual stuff that's going on behind the scenes, the actual video that's being made, not 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 the not the not the entertainment part of it, the actual video. Subscribers you see in challenges are actually never random. They're almost always local to Mr. Beast, and oftentimes friends and family of Mr. Beast employees or just the employees themselves. And when they do pull someone from outside of North Carolina, it's usually somebody who's in the industry, who's camera trained, who has built a following. <laughs> And what's even worse is that <laughs> okay okay that was that was sadly funny video were completely scripted according to a former mr beast employee it would have been a pr problem if the boys had won by a lot and because so many of the female contestants were mr beast employees who got out immediately production stepped in to actually make the results of the challenge closer uh, you can actually see some of this happen on camera like when jimmy pays one of the boys ten thousand dollars to leave which is twice as much as the actual prize money. All right, so essentially everything is fabricated. See, the problem here is that this stuff is borderline illegal. Because, you know, what if I'm one of the contestants that actually wasn't bought and paid for, right? I imagine at least one out of these 100 person is like an actual real person here, right? And not just uh, friends and family. So what if I'm here spending three days and nights here trying to win some money and I'm taking a break from work or whatever, and then I get eliminated and I'm like, oh damn, I didn't win. But then I realize after watching this video that the other 90% of the contestants are just your friends, your girlfriend, your whatever the heck, and they were going to win anyways. And you're scamming the legit people who came there to win some money. That is some really scummy behavior. Okay, yeah, if I, it's not gonna happen, but if I were to go up on a Mr. Beast challenge, and I and like everybody else is someone close to Jimmy, and like I was the only actual contestant, if you will. That would, if I would, I would sue, if I can at least. And I, I gotta I gotta take the L here, guys. You guys remember Rosanna Pansino? She was this YouTuber who has been calling out Mr. Beast on Twitter for faking his hide and seek challenge. 
And um, she essentially said that she was supposed to place maybe, like, second place in the hide-and-seek or something like that. And, you know, everyone was like, oh, you're being petty. Who cares? Who actually cares, right? And I even criticized her before. But uh, after looking into it a little bit more, she was right. If she thought she could actually, you know, ma win some money there or thought it was legit and Mr. Beast was rigging the results or whatever, somebody actually broke the rules of the challenge and stuff, and uh, they weren't called out, but she was actually... Uh, eliminated, and I've defended him a lot of times against people who would criticize his charity and stuff, but there is just overwhelming evidence now that shows Jimmy is shady as F. So I'm going to apologize. I'm sorry, Rosanna. But anyways, moving on to Mr. Beast's real-time video, which I knew was, like, that was the instant one where I was texting people, like, this is fake. This, like, there's no way. This is a real-time video, meaning that time elapses the same in the video as it does in real life. Now, immediately, the intro is sped up. <laughs> And the timer is clearly added in post, and he clearly touches the laser here, but whatever. Let's assume that it's all real time. When he reaches the bottom floor, he has to turn these water valves. Now you can tell that these valves aren't actually connected to anything because the water flows out in an instant, and it happens when he's not even touching the valve. The contestant also goes back to the first valve unaware that anything had happened, and he's still able to spin it. So the valve seems to spin freely and isn't actually connected to the flow of water. So you could assume that producers might be off camera with remote switches to trigger the flow of water. And assuming they've tested this, the producers might know how long it takes for the water to clear out of the room. So they could sort of decide on the fly how many turns of the valve it takes or just when to trigger the water in general to make the results close. And in traditional media, this kind of rigging is actually completely illegal. On any kind of a game show where there is a prize, you have to have somebody that ensures that it's fair. They are out there essentially to make sure that we don't do something that would favor one player or one tribe. I paid the one guy who knew how to solve them to leave. They came to my area many times and I was in the smallest cupboard. <laughs> okay, so pretty much every video that ends at 0 .001 seconds before finishing and it's like super close, obviously it's fake and Mr. Beast has fabricated that for you making the video more interesting it, because in reality it would probably end like five minutes before and randomly and that would just be lame with no tension. Pretty sure this is this is not following the law, so Mr. Beast needs Saul Goodman ASAP because if any of these people try decide to, you know, sue Mr. Beast, they are going to win. They are going to win. You can you can prove a lot of this stuff with the evidence this guy's used in this video. So anyways, moving on to the one bad part of this guy's video. This should probably have been left out. He basically says the uh, banner on Mr. Beast's channel, the subscribe for a cookie is uh, manipulative, which and it's a bit of a stretch. Now, as adults, we can recognize that subscribe for a cookie is a joke. Uh, it's not a real offer, but again, Mr. Beast's audience is primarily children who may have authorities in their life that actually use sweet treats or video game detentions as forms of reinforcement, and you aren't born understanding sarcasm. Okay, just gonna be fair here, that is a bit of a weak point, but it doesn't invalidate all the other points in this video like some people were saying. This guy has made a shit ton of good points in this video, right? I get the context he's going for because there is a lot of subtle manipulation of children going on here, especially with subscribe and you win $10,000 and it's actually just buying a lottery ticket essentially for seven-year-olds. PewDiePie has also called this out before. Uh, keep in mind he's reacting to a Darman video, but it applies to the Mr. Beast one as well, which is why it's edited like that. If you guys want to win a brand new PS5, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. I can't believe people are still doing fucking giveaways. Holy <laughs> shit, it's so annoying. 10 years of YouTube, people are still like buying subs for this shit. So over the next seven days, I'm gonna be giving a thousand random people that subscribe a free Samsung Galaxy S24. How Car, is this legal? I don't- There's no way anyone got a free phone. If, any, if anyone did get a free phone, it would be his workers. It would be the people close to Jimmy. There is no, there is no, no way that some random subscriber that some random new subscriber that subscribed for the phone got the phone like maybe he gave it to one person or th three or s like some small amount just so just so he could say that it's so just so he could have some credibility saying getting the people that got the phone saying like oh yeah i got i got, I, I got the phone I, I i got the phone like it's real it's it's not fake it's not fake but literally everyone, uh, like, Mr. Beast is going downhill. I don't get it. 
All you have to do is subscribe to the channel. All you have to do to enter to win one of these phones is subscribe. It's a scam. Holy shit. Okay, so PewDiePie is completely right there in saying that it's mostly a scam. The problem with these sort of giveaways is that it's extremely shady, and it's never sort of confirmed that who's actually getting all the stuff, and it's never properly announced. First off, Mr. Beast is never losing money, all right? He's, like, making an insane profit every single time when he does one of these, like, buy my merch for a chance to win X amount of money. Like, the merch sales will always make more money. It's kind of like gambling at the casino. The house never loses, right? It is always rigged so that you will be the one who's losing money. For, for those of you who are just joining, if you buy one of our limited edition uh, 40 mil special shirts, we're celebrating 40 million subscribers with a really big video, then we will sign that shirt and some of them will get random prizes like this. 46 illegal lotteries. These lotteries are also run poorly multiple times. They would say something like, buy in the next five minutes for a chance to win. And then seven minutes later go, actually, the newest order in 30 seconds is going to win. In five minutes, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to put $1,000 in a random order. Hey, Daryl, don't we owe someone $1,000? We do. Yeah. So, all right. So the newest order in 30 seconds, we are going to put $1,000 in your package. We're going to break neutral. When there was just no way they were ever even close to losing money on this stream. In five hours, they gave away about $50,000 worth of stuff uh, and sold over 50,000 t-shirts. Selling these t-shirts at $42 each, profit margin would be about $22. But even if they were making like $1 per shirt, they would still be fine. Uh, also, by my estimates, only one in every 1,600 orders actually won a prize. And I guarantee he has real-time analytics on his laptop. He knows they make more money every time he says, Oh my God, guys, we're giving away so much stuff. We're not even going to make a profit. It's insane that he can flip these massively profitable illegal lotteries targeted towards children as a, an act of generosity. Honestly, really good points here. I'm really shocked that it actually took this long for someone to call Mr. Beast out on these things. Instead of calling him out for charity, which is completely idiotic, this is the sort of stuff we need to be talking about because this is somehow getting past the legality, right? Because this is on YouTube and all of the stuff he's doing is pretty much illegal if he was doing it on TV or traditional media. Even on YouTube, it's a weird gray line, okay? So I don't know if uh, any lawyers watching, you wanna go ahead and investigate this? When you promise the audience that, oh, next person that buys it in five minutes wins $10,000, and then you nonchalantly say, whoops, you know, changing that, actually the next person in the next two minutes, like, you're just changing the rules every single time. What about the person who specifically bought after five minutes after you said, just to try and win some money or whatever, they obviously got scammed, right? Now, it's very loosey-goosey, as you can say, but this is why it's it's in that legal gray zone, right? Anyways, this next part doesn't have ad- Okay, so like, all of these are really good points, especially the, do it in the next five minutes and you get this, and then change it, like, seven, like, always have it moving, like, that's, that's gotta be some, like, like, that, that's like a casino tactic or something, like, there is no way that's legal. And like, th all of this, I feel like he does not care about any of this stuff. All he cares is about the money. Like before, when like Jake was still there, stuff like that, those, th those things, those were quality videos. Those were real. Those, those were just good videos. But like this, this is like telling like a kid, like, Say you stream for like one of this for subscribers. And what you're doing is you say, whoever subscribes in the next five minutes is going to get a free tub of gum. And then, and then five, and then like another seven minutes go by. And, and, and then another seven minutes go by. And then you say, whoever subscribes in the next 30 minutes gets a, a lifetime supply of candy. That is basically, that is basically what Jimmy is doing as good evidence as the rest of the video because it's just Reddit. But it's a bunch of people essentially saying that they got scammed by Mr. Beast. They either didn't get their prizes or they were tricked into spending money or something like that. They only signed large t-shirts. So when they selected an order to give a prize, it was apparently always a large or extra large t-shirt. Uh, they kept saying things like buy in the next 15 minutes for a chance to win and then not honoring it. Multiple people claiming that their name was read to win a prize and they never received it.
This person is still tweeting about it to this day. Reading all this really upsets me because I spent money I honestly didn't have for five shirts at different times during the live when they said things like buy now and you will get prize or money. And I received two orders and nothing but shirt, both with MB and one with a heart and one with a smiley. I was hoping for at least a couple things for Christmas for my family. And obviously people can lie on the internet, but a lot of people are independently claiming the same things. Okay, so I know some people might say that, well, if you're stupid enough to spend money on this, you deserve to lose it. But, you know, think about it, right? It's probably some kids who are just begging their parents to buy this merch, right, for a chance to win their money. And then the parents are not really looking into it that much. Oh, my kid wants to buy some Mr. Beast merch and, you know, can possibly win some money. Just go do it, right? And then they get disappointed when they didn't get what they expected. And uh, that one guy mad about it for, what, 883 days? Absolute legend. That guy is going to haunt your grave, Jimmy. Now, this next part, somebody actually forges Mr. Beast's signature on stream. And that was, like, one of the reasons people were buying the merch, to get a signed Mr. Beast jacket or shirt or whatever. And that's just fraud, isn't it? I don't know. So here's a clip of Tyler forging, or not, maybe not forging, using Mr. Beast's signature. So Tyler signs M.B., which is Mr. B's signature. Then he covers it, signs his own initials, TC, smirks, looks around, and then quickly slides the shirt away. Could you make it any more obvious? You know, you don't accidentally have someone else's signature as muscle memory. Hey! MB, Mr. Beast. So this is Mr. Beast's signature. No way, this one was signed by Mr. Beast. It's just got the MB, but it, that means it's signed by Mr. Beast. That's obviously his, Mr. Beast. This is. That is actually insane. That is actually insane. My man copied the Mr. B signature and then like this is just one foot one shot of him doing it. Who knows how much he did? So all those YouTubers who supposedly got a signature from Mr. Beast from Jimmy, it could have been from Tyler. There's a chance that it wasn't even it. It wasn't even on this on this shot at all, and it was just some other employee doing the Mr. Beast signature. Guilty, and then readjusts his body and rubs his hands together. Also, Mr. Beast said during the live stream that this is the last time he'd ever sign anything, and that was just a lie. Don't worry, guys. Mr. Beast is just too busy faking videos and defending Chris Tyson to actually sign his own hoodies that his fans are buying. This is so flippin' scummy. Now every signed Mr. Beast item is worthless because it could just be somebody else forging your shit. So this is a really, really bad look, right? Now we gotta talk about Feastables, right? I remember Mr. Beast saying that this was a healthy chocolate bar with only four ingredients, right? And then this doofus changed it into the same diabetes-causing bullshit that every other chocolate brand seemingly does and loaded it with sugar. This absolutely sucks. I wanted to just make a better for you snack brand because I think a lot of the stuff out there is just terrible for you. Because obviously so much obesity and disease comes from the stuff we eat. Now in 2024, Mr. Beast changed the formula again to where it has mostly the same ingredients as Hershey's and even more sugar and more calories per bar. And Great. A healthy chocolate bar for only later to be replaced with a obesity causing whatever it's called uh, recipe and you know what i have one here i i bought some because i thought jimmy i thought mr beast was was real i'm not gonna lie the, the crunch ones were nasty these were nasty so i think i got i think i got right here is one of the old ones or no no and this initial ad for Feastables where he calls it healthy is still getting millions of views a month. Like Mr. Beast is bringing hundreds of thousands, if not millions of new people to the candy aisle. Whether Okay, 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 okay. If he, if he changed that ad to, stop, to make it stop saying it's healthy, that would be so much better. But the fact that he changed the recipe to make it more obese... For anyone that consumes it and then keeps the keeps the ad that says that it's healthy that is just unacceptable whether he wants to admit it or not people are just walking to the chocolate aisle and instead of buying hershey's buying feastables like 
you, lit, people who never would have bought chocolate in Walmart are walking mm. to the chocolate aisle specifically to buy Fiesel. You're creating so, a new market. Exactly. Yeah. I'm bringing new customers yeah. to the aisle. I'm bringing non-obese people to the chocolate aisle. What a hero, Mr. Beast. Also, 30 grams of sugar per bar. Dude, that's almost as much as a Coca-Cola can. What the freak? Do not buy this absolute dog shit that he's calling a health food. FYI, I really hate sugar. Sugar nearly ruined my life, all right? Uh, part of the reason I nearly died a couple of years ago from health issues was sugar. So when someone like Mr. Beast claims to release something healthy, tricking everyone into buying it, and then changing it back into something extremely unhealthy, even more unhealthy than the, the brand he's constantly... By the way, guys, there's actually some leaks where, allegedly, Mr. Beast was part of the Discord where Chris Tyson was sharing his prawn with minors, all right? So, yeah, that's very interesting, Jimmy. Okay, that last that last part about Jimmy being in the stuff that, is, that Chris is, has those, has those stuff against him, nah, it's not looking good for Jimmy. Um... So yeah, this is the like this is the allegations part about the, how he fakes his videos, how none of, how no one actually wins money, how it's just illegal straight up. Um, I will make a video. I will make another one of these videos on the more allegations with Chris and how he inappropriately talked to minors and how Jimmy allowed it. So yeah, th this video was just on the small stuff. No, actually no, I take that back. This video is not on the small stuff. This is really big. Real quick, th okay. Th so this this is in post. This is this is in post production of the video. Like that was whatever. L look look at this. Peak. Now be like shocked. Like have your hands over your face. Like you're as emotional as you can be. So like have your hand reaching for it, and they'll like be like shocked. Like you're. Yeah. Now act a little surprised. Like be like really shot with your mouth open. Let me know. He got Okay, so yes, 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 that was some random pizza delivery guy. That that part that at least that part is good. But he is this video is this footage is like the whatever was put into the video isn't actually genuine. He try he made him act like that. It wasn't even a genuine reaction. If if he tried to do, if he got a genuine reaction, he probably would have gotten a good reaction instead of making him do stuff like this. It's like hey, have your hand reaching for it, and they'll like be like shocked. Like this is someone who does not believe he is getting the money. And honestly, honestly, he probably didn't. And you know, it's kind of sad. I watched Mr. Beast. For years, when he still had like 10 million, 5 million subscribers, I think, and now he's at 307 million. I was honestly surprised on how how he was able to get this much, and how like how fast he did it. I mean, yes, the videos are were higher quality than my my videos with my 90 95 subscribers. So. I will make another video on the Mr. Beast allegations and stuff, but for now, goodbye.